From NHL stars handing their own teeth to fans, to pucks being stolen by bullies, and fans punching players in the face, these are some of the rawest, wildest things we have ever seen fans do in the NHL. Sometimes fans become part of the action in professional sports. This isn't new. We see it in football, we see it in soccer, we see it in basketball, we even see it in baseball occasionally. But since hockey fans are among the most passionate fans in sports, it can stand a reason that it will sometimes become humorous when NHL players and fans confront each other. So, let's get started talking about the Pennsylvania State rivalry between the Philadelphia Flyers and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Claude Giroux has had enough of the Penguins fans, so instead of just flipping these fans a puck, Giroux sends it as far over their heads as possible, just saying, hey, not this time guys. Intimidation, it's always been a thing in hockey. So, this young fan decides, hey, it's time to stare down the Los Angeles Kings Jack Johnson, in return gives the fan a little wave. The youngster then decides that's enough with a little side eye thrown into the mix. Here's another penalty box confrontation between player and fan. There's a glass between the Anaheim Ducks, Ryan Getzlaff, and the intense Los Angeles Kings fan. But that does not stop Getzlaff. After the fan and Getzlaff exchange what looks like a couple unpleasant words to say the least, Getzlaff decided it would be a good idea to squirt the contents of a water bottle at the fan. But only against the glass. But things are not always that unpleasant between hockey players and fans. Sometimes, it's the exact opposite. Such as when the New York Rangers' Pavel Buchnevich gave a young fan his stick. The fan, wearing a Buchnevich jersey, is overcome with joy and happiness. Things aren't always contentious between NHL fans and players. Here, a Philadelphia Flyers fan is giving it to members of the Buffalo Sabres during a pre-game warm-up. That's nothing out of the ordinary, and really, neither is one of the players just shooting a puck off the glass, not really intending to offend a fan. However, this time, the entire glass cracks and comes close to shattering, shocking almost everyone. But after a couple of seconds, the fan continues his verbal assault. Unfortunately, Fans go beyond words and feel action is necessary at times. This fan pays for his apparent attempts to confront referee Bill McCreary when linesman Ron Asseltine sends the fan flying into the boards with a hit. I bet the fan regrets coming onto the ice now. In that case, the fan managed to get inside the barrier that usually separates the fans from the on-ice action. In this one, it's the players who break that barrier when Winnipeg Jets' Adam Purdy gets knocked down into the glass so hard by a Blackhawks player that it takes out a section of the barrier. All of a sudden, the players and the fans are in a scrum. One fan even decided to take Purdy's helmet and wear it himself. In the next one, another fan invades a player's domain. When the Toronto Maple Leafs enforcer Ty Domi is in the penalty box and going back and forth with the fan leaning over the glass behind Domi, the glass suddenly gives way and the fan tumbles into the penalty box with Domi. The fan is pretty big, but Domi uses his fist for a living. Good thing for the fan that one of the linesmen immediately jumps into the penalty box and gets between the fan and Domi. I'm just gonna say, I don't think the referee told the fan to go sit in the box for five after this. Here's two more cases where the fans invaded the space of players and coaches. The Battle of Alberta between the Edmonton Oilers and the Calgary Flames has always been known to inflame the passions of fans. But this is a bit much. In this game, an Oilers fan dumps beer on the head of Flames assistant coach Guy Lapointe. This did not particularly sit well with Calgary's Sasha Lakovich, who ultimately engaged the fan in a fist fight. And in 1992, in a game in Quebec City between the Nordiques, who are now the Avs, and the Buffalo Sabres, a Nords fan actually jumped onto the bench of the Sabres. The fan must have certainly lived to regret that action because he was absolutely pummeled by Buffalo's enforcer Rob Ray. You've got to give it to the fan in this next interaction because points for being sneaky. Near the end of a playoff game between the Montreal Canadiens and the Boston Bruins, the two teams got into a scrum along the boards, and a fan somehow found his way to get a hold of the stick of Alexei Kovalev 
through the stanchions between the sections of the glass. Here's one where the players literally went into the stands. On December 23rd, 1979, during a brawl between the Boston Bruins and the New York Rangers at Madison Square Garden, a fan hit the Bruins Stan Jonathan on top of the head with a program and took Jonathan's stick. So all of the Boston team, for the most part, charged up into the stands in order to get to the fan, which they certainly did. In fact, Bruins defenseman Mike Milbury wound up beating the fan with the fan's own shoe. The rivalry between the Detroit Red Wings and the Chicago Blackhawks has always been a little bit fierce. A then young Steve Eiserman found this out the hard way when he and his teammates were heading into the dressing room at the old Chicago Stadium back in the 80s. Eiserman is just walking around the tunnel but a Blackhawks fan punches him out of absolutely nowhere and of course the brawl is on. Even when the fans remain completely behind the glass, they can still be a little bit distract. And that's the case here. Not even the hulking six foot, seven inch presence of the New York Rangers' Brian Boyle trying to get him can stop the Philadelphia Flyers' Scott Hartnell from drawing a couple of fans in the front row. In this fan interaction with an NHL player, absolutely no words are spoken. But it's clear that Tyler Sagan, then with the Boston Bruins, clearly finds the signs that are held by these three long ladies a little bit funny. The sign says, I wish I only got two minutes for hooking. And so do we. We're sure that Tyler is quite happy to take his two minutes and go sit in the penalty box. Another funny sign is this one. It says, EJ, I'll trade my sister for a stick. The sign is clearly meant for Colorado Avalanche's Eric Johnson, shows just where this youngster's sister stands in comparison to a stick from Johnson. Johnson then even signs a stick for the young man and gives it to him. But what's really crazy is that in the next home game, the youngster wants Johnson to stick up to the deal that they made. He wanted to give away his sister. The following player fan interaction actually involves family. Nick Foligno of the Columbus Blue Jackets is a second generation NHL player. His father Mike played in the league from 1979 to 1994. And according to this sign, gave this fan a stick in 1987. So like father like son, Nick Foligno also gives this fan a stick. Even hockey players like to dance sometimes, particularly when a youngster challenges a player to a flossing contest, the way this young man does with the Ottawa Senators' Brady Kachuk. They go back and forth, but the youngster is a bit more energetic than Kachuk and wins, getting a puck for a prize. Good job! But this one is not a good thing to do whatsoever. Washington Capitals goalie Braden Holtby noticed a little boy asking for a puck. So, Holtby obliges and throws a puck over the glass and headed for the youngster. But, a young snarky man who appears to be a teenager or in his early 20s snatches the puck before the youngster can catch it and keeps it for himself. Holtby then stares at this guy as if to say, Dude! Really? Meanwhile, the little boy begs Holtby to throw another puck their way. And his father even lifts him up so that no one can reach over him. But Holtby has had enough and simply skates away. That's so sad. Here, Vegas Golden Knights goalie Mark andre Fleury is apparently cleaning up the ice. He grabs a stick and gives it to a fan through the camera opening in the glass. But it seems like this stick actually belonged to San Jose's player, Brent Burns. And Brent Burns decided to try to receive this stick, but is not really successful with that. You have to wonder if Flurry actually knew the stick belongs to a shark player though. Finally, the Florida Panthers' Chris Bark has a unique gift for a fan. While sitting in the penalty box, Barch realized that one of his teeth had actually been knocked loose. Barch then takes it out of his mouth while talking to a fan. He then offers the tooth to the fan and throws it the fan's way. But it looks like the tooth actually just fell on the floor. We don't know if the fan ever bothered to try and find it. Anyways. There you have it! Some of the funniest NHL fan interaction moments. Comment your favorite NHL fan interaction moments below. And as always, if you like this video, don't be a bender. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help the algorithm help us grow, and see you next time!